Hey friends, Mindy here. I have a little journal flip through to share with you. I actually shared this over on my Instagram a few days ago and then I wanted to do a more in-depth flip through of it here and just kind of explain what this journal is and what it's made from and everything. So um, this journal is covered in a specialty cork paper that um, has almost like a canvas backing, but um, this is just a beautiful cork. It's like the material on it is just so nice. Um, I added some Tim Holtz um, ideology book corners to it. It's got three signatures in here. The journal is a nice size. It, it measures roughly five and a half by five, so not quite square. And the uh, spine is a little over two inches, so, just, um, so we have the three signatures in there. And I have used a variety of different papers. So I have some um, Stamperia paper in here. I have some vintage paper. I have um, some coffee dyed paper. That's what's covered in the cover here. You'll see. And um, so I'm just going to do a quick flip through that. Like I said, there are three signatures. So each signature has 20 pages or 40 sides. So this journal has 120 sides in total that are writable spaces. And then there is roughly 18 or 19 pockets or tuck spots or something like that um, that are filled. So I used one of the ephemera pieces from this kit. This is the Stamperia coffee and chocolate set that I use and I have one of the little journaling cards tucked in here on some vintage music paper and then we have just some coffee dyed paper and I did a little bit of stenciling on here. I created some pockets and tuck spots with that paper collection. I have this little cute coffee tag. This is some vintage book paper in the back here. This also is vintage book paper and then of course, some of the Stamperia paper I created this little pocket with a tag on it. Um, and then there's some more of the Stamperia. I created just a little pocket with one of the little journaling tuck spots here that's on some book paper. And then we have some coffee dyed paper in here as well. And um, then this is obviously just the back half of that signature. And all of the signatures are pretty much the same. I do have some corner tucks and then I have some little fold out pieces um, for just, you know, journaling if you want to keep it more private or whatever. Um, another little like library pocket with a tag that I created. And then again, some of those vintage papers. This is a, it's a, a little pocket that I have a journaling card tucked in there. And then I glued that on as a tuck spot. So you have another journaling card. This actually opens out. So even though you can't write on this index paper necessarily, um, you certainly have a lot of writing space with that. Again, here is another coffee dyed paper, vintage music paper, and then the end of that first signature. And they're similar um, signatures with similar types of paper in them. So um, again, here's a pocket with just a tag tucked in there and um, another little corner pocket with the little coffee tag. This is some paper from like a, a diagrams. I just like how all of those look in there. Uh, again, coffee dyed paper, the Stamperia paper. I like the Stamperia paper because it's really sturdy paper. So, um, and then I use another die cut here with a little tuck spot. You could do some journaling on the back of that as well. And again, another one of those little um, pocket tucks that actually works as like a double pocket. Coffee dyed paper again, music paper again, Stamperia paper. I loved this page right here. I just thought it was so so pretty. And then I created a little um, image. This is actually from the Stamperia collection as well. And did a little bit of stenciling just in a couple places on the coffee dyed paper. I wanted to leave a lot of room in here for journaling. So um, I will say that uh, this, this journal is currently available if you're watching this. Um, you can comment sold in the comment section or you can reach out to me over on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, I am Minders78 on Instagram. And I'll post, uh, I do have a reel over there of a quick flip through of this journal. But like I said, sometimes it's just nice to see it a little bit slower and kind of, you know, see what kinds of papers and those kinds of things are in there. So I really love how this journal came together. I knew I wanted, as soon as I saw this coffee and chocolate collection, I knew I needed it. So I, um, made this journal. This is a coffee dyed paper that I actually got on Etsy and I love that they how they did the design in the coffee paper, dyed paper. It's just so fun and um, 
Again, this is kind of just the backside of this signature now, so you can kind of see that design. The vintage music paper, vintage book paper, coffee paper, and then another little tag tucked in here. And then the last part of this signature, just added a little paper strip here just for some interest. And then another one of those pockets with a little fold out journaling card. And that is it. So like I said, at least right now, this um, this journal is available. For more information, you can check out um, my Instagram or you can reach out to me here. If you're interested, just comment sold down below if it hasn't sold already on Instagram. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below as well. If you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.